All right, we'll have a look inside. Cost me £1.50 in Dorothy House, one of the charity shops. This one was in Chippenham. It's a very poor condition. I'm not even sure that it's exactly the same make as these other ones. It looks similar, but I'm not sure. Underneath, it does actually say uh, Made in China Early Learning Centre, Swindon SM3. It's got a number there. I think that's 100882. Now, what I keep saying about these is I can't identify the manufacturer. Early Learning Centre is one of those um, shops that deals with children's uh, toys and uh, goods, that sort of thing. Anyway, we'll take it apart. I'm just going to give it another turn. Because I didn't notice whether this one turns on the back. No. No. I can see there's a gear missing in there. So I'll take this back bit off first. Bits of black dust coming out as well. Right, so straight away we can see we're missing a gear here that would turn this bit round. That's broken just there. Might be able to glue that bit back together, but we're still missing a piece here. to one side. So I'm not sure whether it's supposed to be a combine harvester or just a grass cutter, lawnmower. Right, what's going to happen? Nothing. Okay, what else is holding it together? That will come off. Some screws. 
screws at the top. over there holding the top and bottom together. That's what that looks like. Like a circlip. I bet they're glued. Yes, I was right. Those are glued in place. That one has broken off. And that one's split across the middle. So now we can lift it off. turning around just there. It's supposed to make this bit in the chimney go up and down. Mm -hmm. so that's, oh, that screw stops it going too far. Okay. That's a black muck coming out. It's definitely something not making contact somewhere. Black dust, I think, is the, the spring in there is rusty. That wheel is loose on the axle. So the axle's not actually turning when I'm doing that. That one feels all right. See a little bit more of what's going on when I do that. So the gear down the bottom there that's actually on the axle is turning okay. You probably see that's also turning that one at the same time. broken teeth. Certainly something clicking around in there. Lots of dust and rust in here.
and see which one it is that's clicking. Not going to be easy to take apart. We need to get at least one of the wheels off. That one's turning, but it's. I can't pull it that way. falls off of there. That's supposed to be a tight fit. That's the link. That's it. Right, well that was a bit confusing, but it all makes sense now. I wonder if it's worth squirting any, any oil in there on the spring to try and free it up a bit. obviously come loose at some time. I might try putting a bit of super glue on there. Get it to stick on that shaft. Yeah, now it all turns. We still need to find a gear to go on there to turn that lock. I've just unscrewed the engine block there. There's only a single screw in it, just so we can see this cam that turns around. Beginning to lose the sunlight, it's gone 8 o'clock at night, but I've actually found the gear for the end of there. It sort of must have dropped out when I was rattling things around. So we've got that. I've gone and got my boxes of gears to try and find a matching one. Came back downstairs and found that one anyway. So that's in place. I've put a bit of super glue on that one and pushed it back on the shaft to try and hold it in place. I don't expect that will last long, but it might help. On the back of the tractor, I've super glued. That was two pieces that were broken off, so they're glued back in place. So. I should put it back together. 
see if we can get it to run. I've also put oil on the spring just to help it slide over itself because when it's rusty it can't um, release easily. Putting it back together now. I won't film all the screws going in because we're losing the daylight now. Not sure if we can see it moving if I push it along. We should be able to see this going up and down. That rocking side to side. And this turning. Well, I can see that turning all right. Yep, that's going up and down. Motor rock side to side. So we've got everything working. I'll put the screws back in. Well guys, I'm pretty disappointed. I've got everything moving right. But it now seems with all the extra load, it has trouble actually going. I'll wind it up, but I've got to give it a push to get it to go along the kitchen floor here. That's almost exactly the same distance as before, but everything is moving. That's going to have to do. I don't seem to be making any progress with any extra work that I'm doing to it. So I'll keep it. I won't throw it away because it's the only one of these that I've got. But we're not going to be racing it up and down the kitchen against the other models.